There are many things we see in all people today that we don't like. It's a product of the choices they made when they were young. Yes. One of the reasons why we need to talk about issue of purpose, fulfillment, and all of this is that if you interact with other people, if you have somebody that's a grandparent or fathers, older fathers, that will listen to this kind of conversation, their response is always different. The reason is this. We are young and all of that. When they see some of us doing what we are doing today, it reminds them of their time when they were young as well. When they could have invested energy in profitable things and the years has been spent. Let me make a statement. And so that's critical. Some people may not agree with me. If we don't teach our young people, purpose, young adults, teenagers, when we are young, and they have lived their life many years running around. There will be a baggage of many, many wrong choices and many decisions. <laughs> so that they will have taken certain decisions and made certain choices that even if they repent, please take note, even if they repent, the consequences of the choices and the decision made will be taken away. Yeah. I've interacted with many people, someone that was smoking, 30, 40 years ago. Now he has a repentant. He's in his 60s. He could still die of cancer. <coughs> Even though he has a repentant, he could still die of cancer of the law. The consequences uh -uh. of the consequences and the choices we make. Somebody committed all kinds of abortion. God can restore. Because there is a system of restoration in God. He said, I will restore to you. Yes. So God does not, he, do, he doesn't just restore things. He restores time as well. Said I will respond to you the years. Yes. So that's time and seasons that has been lost. Hmm. However, the consequences of the decisions we made hmm. when we are young, repentance may not take away the consequences. 